Dear colleagues, this is an unedited video of a routine phacoemulsification surgery. We have started the case. This is the main incision on the steep axis as found out by a corneal topography machine. Now, this is an stab incision on the right side of the main incision. In this case, I am going to stain the anterior capsule of the cataract to demonstrate capsular access. In this case, we need not stain, but just to demonstrate you very clearly, I am going to stain the anterior capsule with stripe and blue dye. And I stain the anterior capsule always underneath an air bubble. This is my routine practice. Now I wash the dye out within 5 or 6 seconds. Now I inject viscoelastic substance. In this case I am going to use only HPMC that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now one more paracentesis incision is made on the left side of the main incision for introduction of chopper. Two incisions are required to use bimanual irrigation aspiration. Now this is how I incise the capsule with a 26 case main cystitum. A nice flap has been raised. And now I use a uterator forceps to do capsulorexis. You hold the flap, guide the flap anticlockwise and I turn around and make a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. In this case, it has become almost a circle. Now, hydrodissection is done. Fluid wave is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim. We could see that the fluid went to the other side. The nucleus is depressed and the nucleus is rotated. The nucleus is made free from the capsule. Now again viscoelastic substance is injected and now is the time to enter into the eye with the tip of the phago hand vis. In this case I am going to use Oatly Catarex Easy Phago Machine. And this is the easy tip. You can see that the end is wider than the shaft. And there are a lot of fluid around when I am working on the lens, on the cataract. Lot of fluid around the shaft and that's the reason this tip, this phaco tip doesn't give rise to wound burn. This is direct chop. In this case the phaco setting was flow rate 45 ml per minute, vacuum 450 millimeter of mercury and ultrasonic energy used was 65%. This is the last fragment. When there is a thick epinucleus acting as buffer, I need not remove the chopper while emulsifying the last bit of nucleus. But when I am removing the epinucleus, I come out so that the posterior capsule goes backward and I can safely remove the epinucleus. Now I inject viscoelastic substance, take the lens and load the lens. By this time, my assistant is changing the, changing the IA irrigation and aspiration tubes and attaching the irrigation and aspiration tubes to the IA, hand, IA probes. And this is a time saving. You can load the lens yourself, you can examine the long, low lens yourself and by this time your assistant is changing the tubes, attaching the tubes to irrigation and aspiration probes. And now see what happens when I start using bimanual IA. As I go, the chamber becomes very deep. 
So I remove some viscoelastic substance through the main incision and then I start by manual IA. I don't remove all the viscoelastic substance, a some portion of viscoelastic substance and then I start irrigation and aspiration. Now I change the probes. Irrigation is now through the left side and aspiration is goes through the right side stab incision. That's it. The cortex is removed. Now some cells are there sticking to the posterior capsule. I just irrigate the posterior capsule like this and it gets polished. This is safer than using both irrigation and aspiration even by cap back mode. But sometimes I gently and cautiously use both irrigation and aspiration for polishing the posterior capsule. Vacuum is only 15 and flow rate is also 15. And now the already the lens is loaded, it is implanted under irrigation. This is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic, see how it goes. I just use my left hand instrument and send the trailing haptic into the capsular bag. Now I come to the main incision, I introduce the irrigating probe and flash out whatever little viscoelastic substance was there in the lumen of the cartridge. Now little bit of moxifloxacin is injected, the side ports are hydrated. That's it. This is a routine case and most of the cases are like this. This is a view under higher magnification. This is the final wash with BSS. That's it. This is the final wash. Antichamber is formed like this. I hold the Simco at the wound like this and suddenly I come out. And the antichamber is formed, the wound, the main incision is made in such a way that it never leaks. Thank you very much for your attention.